In this problem, we're told a physics major is cooking breakfast when he notices that the frictional force between his steel spatula and his Teflon frying pan is only 0.2 newtons. Knowing the coefficient of kinetic friction between the two materials, he quickly calculates the normal force. What is it? So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know, which is the force of friction is equal to mu sub k times f sub n. And so what we're trying to do uh, in, when solving this problem is find the normal force, which is f sub n. So if we want to solve for it, we're going to need the frictional force and we're going to need the coefficient of kinetic friction. So keep in mind what they give us. They give us the frictional force. They tell us uh, between the frying pan or the steel spatula and the Teflon frying pan is 0.2 newtons. So they give us the frictional force, right? And we're trying to solve for F sub n, but we also need to know mu sub k. So mu sub k is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the two materials. And uh, if you look in your textbook, they're going to give you a table which explains the different coefficient of kinetic friction between two different types of materials. So if you look, this is going to be a steel on Teflon, right? So these are the materials. And if you look in your textbook, it'll show you a table, and it'll tell you the coefficient of kinetic friction for these two materials is 0 0.04. So for coefficient of friction, uh, there are no units. So it's just 0 0.04. That's the coefficient of kinetic friction, right? And now that we have the force of friction, we have mu sub k. What we can go ahead and do is solve for f sub n because it's going to be the only variable left in the formula, right? So we have the force of friction, which is 0.2 newtons is equal to mu sub k, or the coefficient of kinetic friction, which is 0 0.04, and then we multiply by f sub n. So if we want to solve for f sub n, or the normal force, what you want to do is just divide by 0 0.04, and that's going to give you f sub n. So you want to do 0 0.2, uh, right? So 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.04. When you do that, you're going to get 5. So you're going to get f sub n, or the normal force, is going to be equal to 5. And then keep in mind, this was measured in newtons, and this doesn't have units, so it's just going to be in newtons, right? And we measure normal force in newtons. So essentially, uh, the normal force between these, right, is going to be 5 newtons. So yeah, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.